architectural zones are nothing more than groups of like-purposed rooms that are assembled together. In a dental office, we have three architectural zones. Let's take a look at the clinical zone first. So we have four different elements to the clinical zone. And we want all the operatories together on one wall, if, all, if at all possible. Let's move on now to the public zone. Very important room in the office. I'm to call it the most important room of the entire office. That's where the patient accepts the care. Then finally, we have the staff zone. And bulk storage is probably one of the most commonly missing areas in an office, and so we're going to be talking about what the dimensional requirements of that are. The other big reason that we want to utilize architectural zones is so that we're able to create the appropriate heating and air conditioning zones throughout the office. Now, we need one ton of air conditioning for every 275 square feet of office space. That is really important. How many operatories do you need? It's the cornerstone on which the rest of the entire design will be built. How big does your office need to be in terms of square footage? You've already decided how many ops you need. Let's just say we're going to schedule five ops. We need one unscheduled op per doctor. So we're going to have six ops in that office. And now how big does the physical plant need to be? We need about 500 square feet of office space per operatory.